Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. So I thought today I might put someone on the spot and make like a um, a video call, like during uh, my reading. So I'm recording it, so we're not going live, but it is going to be recorded. But first I want to do, um, oh I can feel the panic. It's all good. Listen, it's going to be fun, okay? I'll get my phone up ready. It's 1455. I'm going to play with fairies and then I'm going to call a friend. That's what I'm going to do. Do they, do they know I'm going to call them? No, but I did kind of plant the seed of intention a few weeks ago. I did speak to them about it, that I felt like doing this. Okay, so we've got the fairies. Now the fairies are everywhere. Everywhere, I'm telling you. Okay. I want to tie my hair up. I'm not sure why I put it down. I put it down. I was actually going to do this. Um, oh, I don't know what time it would have been. Maybe near the time of... Uh, I don't really know. 1344. Four. It's 1455. And just as I got everything set up, uh, I was put on the spot. <laughs> I was put on the spot. No, I wasn't. Jamie and Megan came to like spend some time with me and... Um, help with the housework, cook themselves something to eat. And so, um, here we are. Here we are, face to face. We forget time and place. Hold me now. Wrong box. Don't let go, although it hurts. And we both know the time we spend together's gonna fly. And everything you do for me, it's gonna feel so right. Baby, when you're loving me, I feel like I could fly. I think it's fly, anyway. But there's nothing I can do. To keep from loving you. Gloria Esteban. 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 We need a fan. Should we make a phone call? It will be funny anyway. It will be cool. I'm going to ask them if they can help me with their charms. And maybe if they could give me a bell. Yeah, that's good. That sounds good. Come on, I'm giving the clues away now. Hey, can I borrow some of your charms, please? No, it's unicorns. Okay, I want to ask for assistance from the unicorns. See what they've got to say. Do we have a look at the story now before we make the call? No. Okay, let's let's see if they're available. Okay, I've got to like tell them that I'm recording. So, um, what's up? Let's WhatsApp them. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we go. Here we go now. Okay. Busy, I imagine they get back to me. I best put my phone on then so I can hear it because I have my phone on silent like all the time. Okay, right, let's put that like that and we will continue. They get back to me if they're meant to. Okay, I want to borrow some of their charms. Right, let's put the phone down. Let's have some coffee. Mm. It's this energy of like they kind of sensed it. They sensed it. <laughs> Queen of Winter, strong, patient, sufficient, self sufficient, and funny. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career. Unmarried or divorced individuals. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. 
Put your hands up, then we've got the hermit. Okay, find or be a mentor, take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual path. It will all come in. And then we've got the king of autumn. Well, Mr. King of Pentacles, he's compassionate, accomplished, charismatic. Okay. Hmm. Charismatic and gifted. Well, he's got the charm. Okay. I wasn't calling him. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Everything going your way, a good person or company to work for. I just like blew a bubble with my mouth. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Find balance. Find balance. This looks a little bit like the person I was trying to call. Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime, and you will have more energy, harmony, and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. So, who I was calling, they might have been taking a nap. I thought that they're probably working. They're probably producing their own video. Okay, they're busy. Their phone's on silent. That's what I felt. They're busy doing their spiritual stuff. Their spiritual stuff. Yes, because we've got the Queen of Winter here. Strong, patient, self-sufficient, funny. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. It's now time to focus on your career. Unmarried or divorced individuals. So the hermit. So she could be resting. She. It is a she. Of course it is. It's like all the independent single ladies, divine feminines out there. The hermit. Find or be your mentor. Take a break from society. A commitment to your spiritual growth. And then we have the king of pentacles here. Okay. Find balance. So imagine this person, probably as I speak, is doing her own video on helping others to find balance. Others to find balance. <laughs> yeah. We're going to carry on though. Okay. If she could give me a bell. That's what I said. I want to know if she can give me a bell. So it's meant to be this way. Right, let's clear this... Um, energy whilst we wait for our return just pay attention to what I'm saying pay attention to what I'm saying because it's all going to come in okay so with what she says to what I'm saying yeah she's gonna use her charm is she she sure is I wonder what she's doing she'll tell us what she's been doing well, I'll ask her. What have you been doing? <laughs> Must be talking to an angel. Must be talking to an angel. Must be talking to an angel. Right. We're going to do a Celtic cross. How that flipped over the moon. I've got an itchy forehead. Why is that? Is that like a, a frowning? An itchy forehead here, yeah. tickling. But I felt like it was a lines coming across. <clears throat> the lines. Right, we've got the cards. I can see the moon card. That's about. Well, I was going to say secrets. The moon. Powerful, intuitive epiphanies. Letting go of worry and fear. Understanding the truth of a situation. What's assisting us behind the scenes? The moon energy. Okay. Someone's thirsty. Hi, Jasper. You're a thirsty boy. Interesting, because Megan just filled up. He's like, he has a beaker. They all have a beaker. They drink out of a, a cup. <laughs> And she feels it so high that he thinks it's empty. So he kind of goes up and then, I don't know, and I said to her, I've just said to her, you filled, I said, who filled up, like, the cup? And she said, I did. I said, you always do it too high. And I said, oh, and then as she walked off, I went, it's a boy thing. <laughs> she went, what? I said, it's a boy thing. 
it's like you filled it up too high. Like just it's oh, I don't know. You don't fill it up right to the brim. Okay. The lovers. Okay. True love that is long lasting. Choices made from the heart and return to good health. So we've got the lovers here. I'm not really making much sense of what we're doing. We've been put on the spot. But are we though? I feel nervous and I don't normally even get nervous. I'm more nervous because she didn't answer the phone. I don't know. I'm more nervous because she didn't answer the phone. Anyway, we've got the Queen of Autumn, so we're talking about the Divine Feminine. She's generous, stylish, gracious and practical. Be, be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. Okay. The past energy. Five of Summer. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others, focusing on that which frightens or worries you. That's about being put on the spot, isn't it? Current energy. Three of Spring, card of manifesting. Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience, there are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Okay. Yeah, people chatting out there. Into the future. We're going into the future. We're going into the future. Five of winter. Walk away from dishonest associations, realising that what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness. Something that's not worth the effort. Takes me to like the snowball effect. What does that mean? <laughs> Behind the scenes, the moon. Okay, so powerful intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. I feel very tense. I've had neck ache as well. Um, Jamie come in earlier on. I turned my neck to look at him and I went, ow, my neck hurts. He went, yeah, so does mine. He's like her. Uh, Yesterday it happened. He was carrying a lot of weight, he told me. Um, how are you feeling about this situation, whatever this situation is? King of Summer, okay. Honourable, devoted, mature and warm-hearted. A romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Getting involved in a cultural or creative endeavour. How this affects others. Three of Autumn. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Being compensated for your creative talents. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I'm just like automatic reading them. It's, it's, I'm nervous. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. Okay. <laughs> the outcome. Queen of Summer. I love it. We've got like the King and the Queen of Pentacles and the King and Queen of Cups. Loving, comforting, emotional, intuitive. Listen to your heart. Intuitive insights you can trust. Taking care of others, perhaps too much. Listen, I'm so sorry, I just can't really make sense of this at the moment. It's like I feel I want my buddy to like bring some sense to this. So it's all lined up perfectly, isn't it? Because this doesn't feel like, like my normal behaviour. Anyway, <laughs> motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing... They say, get busy and do it. Right, okay. So this is something that, um, well, maybe should have been, should have happened. No. Okay, but it didn't happen, did it? So it shouldn't have been that way because it wasn't that way. But the three of spring is here and it feels like this is something that maybe should have been put into action, let's just say, in the springtime. Well, we're in summer now. Okay. So if you've, 
been, if there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. This card says plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience, there are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. Nerves, real nerves on the table. Okay, and I was kind of like expecting um, my friend to be nervous rather than me. Okay, so, <clears throat> oh, me and Jamie picked up that. Well, I picked it up and said to Jamie about the neck pain. I said, actually, we are kind of like pains in the necks, aren't we, us twin flames? And uh, I said, it just makes me feel as if what I'm feeling, like the neck pain, is actually feeling it from, like, my counterpart. And I said, that's interesting. I wonder if it's a transmission of energy. And then, um, oh, we were talking, anyway, we were talking about ageing. And um, I said to Megan, Mummy's getting old. She said, you're not that old. And I said, well, I'm 44. And Jamie went, I'm 22. I'm like half your age. She said, isn't that bizarre? And I said, isn't it? And he's like a ninja. He just keeps catching things. He nearly dropped the tea towel and he caught it. And he's sitting not opposite me, eating like his food. <laughs> and um, he's like giggling to himself. He's like, why do I keep catching every why am I dropping stuff and then catching it so a bit of toast he was eating scrambled egg on toast and it's just like falling and he's like anyway he's like I'm like a ninja so we've got the lovers here true love that is long lasting choices made from the heart and a return to good health but I'm feeling a bit dizzy a bit silly okay is that what true love does True love that is long lasting, choices made from the heart, a return to good health. Well, this is what we're talking about, feeling better. Queen of Autumn. Okay, now this is normally the challenge. She's generous, stylish, gracious and practical. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful and meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. So you are a dream come true then, Divine Feminine. He's met you, but I feel like he's feeling a little bit giddy. Lovesick. Lovesick? Well, there's a return to good health here. Okay. Five of summer is the past energy. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from negative emotions of others. And focus in on that which frightens or worries you. And I feel there's this energy of being frightened of actually making a move. Frightened to pick up the phone. Frightened to make the phone call. Okay. Frightened if you don't get an answer. Well, anyway. The five of summer being with the five of winter here. Five of winter. Walk away from dishonest associations, realising that what you thought you wanted you wanted, <laughs> what you thought you wanted isn't the best choice for your happiness, something that's not worth the effort. There's a real energy here of um, not trying again, maybe. What's with the motorbike? Should we try again? We can. Because I'm, I'm looking for some like clarity, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Why are we humming? Do we hum? We hum. Let's see. I mean, if you ring me twice, then at least like they kind of think, well, it's important. They rang me twice. So, maybe. King of Summer, how do you feel about this? Honourable, devoted, mature and warm-hearted. I'm not really working out how the Queen of Autumn is the block.
Three of Oarsmen. Follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you do. Being compensated for your creative talents. Why is there such a void energy here? The magician, you can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. And listen to your heart. Intuitive insights. You can trust taking care of others, perhaps too much. I can hear a football. Moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? 1515, the devil. Hello, darling. Listen, I'm recording you. I'm putting you on the spot. Yes, they can't see you, but they can hear you. How are you? Oh, interesting, because my reading earlier on as I was running water, your wish come in. I did pre-warn you about this, like, kind of, planted the seed. I'm not sure if they can actually hear you. Like, I've got, I was running water, I've now poured myself, I've got a glass of water ready. My washing machine is absolutely going crazy right now, so I'm filling with water. And my kettle is bubbling water also at this present time. Also, my bath is full of water waiting for me to get in it. Um, so, what is all this about? Well, this see? is, see, I'm actually struggling for the first time. Now, I'm speaking to original guys, and, um... Everybody! <laughs> we've tried to ring you a couple of times, but it was like I needed to speak to you. I wanted to, uh, I was going to ask you if you could give me a bell. If you could give me a bell. <laughs> Fucking love it. You look like Santa. I haven't got a beard, thank you. Okay. And I wondered if we could bother some charms. Ooh, what charms would you like, my lovely? Well, there is some water energy on the table. Somebody may knock at my door and I may have to... Um, Just put us on a silent or I'll, I'll yeah, mute you. Yes, I'll do that. I'll do it as well. I just wondered, oh, and I wanted to see what the foul unicorns wanted to say, please, if oh, you don't mind. Oh, you want me to swear, swear. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Well, I've already kind of, I don't know how long I've been on for, 22, 53, and I was just thinking about closing it down, and then you rang. And so, um, because I can't make sense of the reading, to be honest with you. And, but I've said some stuff, so when I watch it back, we watch it back, I imagine it's all going to be perfect. just uploaded a reading, and I was shuffling my, oh, so, oh, I, right. So, I had this Scottish man want to come through again today. <laughs> I've literally sat at my table for the past 20 minutes. I've got to mute you, bear with me, my friends. I'll mute Thank you me. as well. Thanks, you. Okay. Right then. <clears throat> <laughs> She's had a Scottish man come through. Right. Shall we find out what the Scottish man wanted to say when she comes back? Let's have some coffee. All I can see is a star. I was trying to cover her name. She's waving to me. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so from the star come the wave. We're not to go anywhere, she'll be back. How are we doing for battery? 86%, 15, 19 and help is on the way. So... We'll put it all together, won't we? So the bottom of the deck here was moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthfully, although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. I look quite dark. Like I feel like I've got heavy bags under my eyes. I feel extremely tired, like I said, nervous. Not really feeling like myself. Okay, I don't think she's back. 
Is she back? Oh, oh my goodness, hello. Hello. Okay. Um, so I was just saying about how I feel I've got these heavy bags. I don't feel like me, to be honest, original. Um, coming through to me today as well and talking to me and he was holding me and crying and saying a lot of stories. And that's your divine masculine's energy is coming through. All right. And, okay. Right, well, I've already done quite a bit of speaking, so can I hand over to you? Uh, well, if you can... Well, bear with me. Let me put my phone in position so that I can... Okay. If look you... at my charms. I'm going to pull some unicorns first. Yeah, if you can just be conscious about, like, uh, it gets distorted when you're a bit too loud. <laughs> so it's just a, keep it a nice level. But otherwise, I don't know how they pick it up on this camera and I want them to actually hear you. I thought you might have a goldfish in that glass of water then. I swear I saw a goldfish in there. It did, didn't it? It's my thumb. I can see that. Okay, what, so what would you um, like to so, say? Use the unicorns if you wouldn't mind. So I'm going to now ask the, um, these cheeky, cheeky unicorns what they want to know. I think somebody's a bit cross as well, look, look. Hold on a minute, my eyesight, darling. I've been, sh it, I'm just talking It just says, ask what she's showing me, it know. says, wake uh, up. Uh, Hold on, can I read that bottom one, please? Bloody hell. Wake up, you are missing some cool shit. It's, so somebody's cross about that. And the card's crossed over. I'm do, I've got a Celtic cross on my table, and okay. I've got the Queen of Autumn. I've got the lovers is what we're talking about. Okay. And I couldn't work out why the, the Divine Feminine was the challenge. So someone's cross. Okay. Because I haven't got her as a cross, I, I don't see why. Did you want to see the cards that I still got on the table? Because my cards. Are... No, I just want you to pull some unicorn cards, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but if you've done a reading, then um, it's, yeah, it's it'll be on Original Whispers. Um, is it from the Divine? Yes. I'll put a link in the description box, guys, where she might actually want to share this video herself on her channel. So. We can do whatever. This is putting someone on the spot. It's an awesome idea, isn't it? You know what I said in my last reading about divine masculinity and belief and being a bit shady? All right, just pull some cards. I have to keep her focused. Bloody hell, hold on. You are being shady. That's come out. Yeah. Watch out. Shit could get ugly. <laughs> Is that lightning? Oh! Oh! Just, we allow it come through. You need some fucking yoga in your life. Yeah, that'd be well. Ancient shit is cool. Do you know what I've been drawn to? Um. Oh my goodness! Am I actually going to tell you this? Well, I can tell. I'll tell you anyway. I was drawn to this book when I was young that my mum had. Yeah, and it was called Sex Watching. And I found it in a frigging box. And anyway, it's not like hardcore stuff, but it talks about um, understanding sex. And it took me to like tantric sex. And that's what took me into yoga. That's what took me into yoga. But um, that kind of position. It's a deeper, isn't it? It's like a... A spiritual love making technique. Breathing to one another. Breathing into one another. Eyes to eyes, face to face stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think that comes. I think I've sang something about that. Into me see. What was that? Into me see. Into me see. That's quite intense stuff, isn't it? That's what intimacy, that's what true intimacy. Well, this says true love, that is long lasting. Choices made from the heart, a return to good health. So I'm feeling this sexual energy coming right. through. Two more cards. And one of them is, in, oh, it's interesting. So, because it's interesting because, you know, when I said that somebody was cross, so, so the first one here is. 
don't oh my, do you know how many times I've used that word? He's not happy with how he's not happy with his appearance at the moment. He's not happy with how he looks at the moment. And do you, how many times have I used that word in a week or whatever? It says you look like. What does it say? Turn it over the other way. Can can I look at it again? You look like a shit show. Turn it around. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. Jeez. Is that how they're talking to themselves? Yes. Get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. Jeez. They're being really fucking tough on themselves, aren't they? Five of winter, walk away from dishonest associations. I think, I think the divine masculine might be telling us off, actually. For what? what I don't know. What did we do? Thing. Have you? Oh, no, I haven't. Fuck off. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry, guys. Well, I'm not. Have you eaten? You are acting like a big-ass baby. Yeah, that's because I haven't been eating. I picked that up yesterday when I said I haven't eaten today. You need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. <clears throat> oh, and, and, just to clarify, De that. Detox. You've got water. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. <laughs> Spot on. I'm not sure who the asshole is. I'm meant to be unfriending, though. I do need to throw some shit out. What was the other part? Oh, hang on. That made me chuckle. Detox. I do need... To, oh, I'm getting the smoothies. Yeah, I'm going shopping tomorrow. Drink a smoothie. Listen, I was actually going to share with you guys my new health plan. Unfriend that asshole And throw some shit out. I don't know what friends are. I don't really have many friends. <laughs> She's not an asshole. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that happened to me a long time ago. It's like, I don't know what friends that I've got to unfriend. Well, I'll be on the lookout. <clears throat> okay. She's got her hands in a charm basket now. She has her eyes closed. And then she just drops them on the mat. <laughs> She's actually like in sexy like underwear, nightwear. That's what she oh, means. Yeah, have you seen these lashes? I can or... see, yeah. Like, uh, oh, what's it called? Is it called a... I had this all tucked up, so I was doing my arse and the thighs. I was doing all, getting ready to dance on Well, what was really weird is I told Jamie that I was planning on calling you on, on the spot. I said, I kind of planted the seed a while ago and said I had the idea of doing it. Hey, and um, is... do, you know, do you want to know what he said to me, though? Why do I have visions of her like answering the phone with tassels on her nipples and dancing? I said, well, that is the kind of thing that she would do. And you've just uh, kind of proved us right, saying, we've got Mr. Maintenance Guy out here. She has this, is it called, is it called a ne negligee? Negligee. Somebody's dog's died. Oh. It's a bit of a weird thing to come up, isn't it? Someone's dog's died. Or maybe that means that you're not going to be someone's dog's dinner anymore. Someone's dog's died. Oh, sorry about that. Do you know why? Do you know why? I was going to say, do you know what? Do you know why? Um, because the lovers are coming together. So the animals, like, fill a void and, like, they come to fill that position. And when they know that you're no longer going to need to put all your attention and love onto them, then they're going to make their transition. And you can get addicted to your pets. Addicted, is that the right word? Well, it's coming out that way. But it's like if it's your best buddy. It's like man's best friend, isn't it? But that I would take that as an indication that you're going to be having, like, instead of you having to, like, 
my my mind's going to filthy thoughts anyway. Because right. and I don't mean to. We don't mean to be disrespectful about. It's not dying. It's transitioning from us. So for me, a, a dog dying just means well, if you've loved it well, it's going to be probably transitioning into a human being. So it might be a baby that's born around you, or you can have things as like step-ins. So maybe the dog is like your divine counterpart and, you know, it's actually going to step in to make a transition into the vessel. It's just however you perceive it to be. So, anyway, someone's dog has made its transition. And also, it can be the other way, can't it? Dogs will make their transitions if they're mi mistreated. And it's had enough. Maybe it's had enough of its environment. I'm sure that's why my cats absolutely frigging love it here. But I understand that when they go, that's because, you know, they've done their role, haven't they? So it is kind of like the energy when enough is enough. What have you got there, anyway? I'm just looking. It's very interesting because I'm, I'm trying to figure out what this... Well, what's interesting is your fingers look like a figure of eight. It looks like the infinity symbol. Well, you're saying I'm trying to figure it out, and all I can see is you holding the charm. Hold it up to me, because sometimes to magnify, it makes it a bit bigger so that I can see it. I, th I think it's a puppy. That... Why does it look like an elephant, then? Looks it's like an... It also looked like a pig, though, at some point, with smell. That's a bit of a... An yeah, that's a bit of a... That looks like a new species. It's got stars all over it. Oh, it's got stars. We saw one of them on your ceiling when you went. That's really interesting. I started watching this new series last night called um, Sweet Tooth. I don't know if you've seen it. And it's about... It's, it's about um, so there's a virus much like going on in the world today virus that hits the world and people start having babies that are actually half human and half like they are like animals they start you know having like animal features which means they also are very in connect in contact in in connect connected to sorry their, their animalistic nature and all of their senses are super heightened um so it's i don't know Sweet tooth. Yeah, sweet tooth. I've got a, a peacock on the board on Saturday. What day are we today? Thursday. A peacock's on the board on Saturday. That takes me to this. The wish that came through and I said it looked like a peacock then. Strange looking thing is on Sunday. A strange looking thing is on Sunday. I don't know how else to describe it. I didn't know if it was a cat. I kind of come to avoid energy here, didn't I? I'm not so saying these are strange. We've got a horse in Virgo. Yes, like the royalty. Um, I don't know if we've got a key on yes. I've also got here, there's... So somebody is taking steps towards their higher knowledge and their spiritual truth. I've got a dog thing, which is also connected to their, you know, their, what I want to say, their soulmate counterpart with an offer of money. Because there's money here. So I've got a footprint, an owl, a dog thing, and a hundred dollar bill. Or yes. So that's... That $100 bill took me to like the 100th monkey when it was kind of like, who is this? And you know, like the evolution of man? That's interesting. I can hear your washing machine. <laughs> it sounds like it's getting ready to take off. I don't know if anybody had like a, a trip planned to Paris or something. Well, it's not 
it's not it's on no so it's like it's not gonna be happening but i've got two of them i've got a paris tower i'm so i just it takes me to paris because i've got an actual tower and then i've got another and a tower here on the stars but that landed on no so it's almost like maybe somebody was planning on taking this trip but they've had to reconsider because i've got i've got rephrase you see in an airplane on rephrase so it's like they've had to reconsider taking this trip to paris okay that sounds like an aeroplane doesn't it my washing yeah getting ready to take off mm. And then we're having little gaps in between where they're just the video's breaking up a little bit. It's not, you know, where the sound does. It does that as well, doesn't it? Is there so, anything else you want to kind of say? Um, so there's, I'm going to tell you the numbers that I've got. I've got a number, I've got a mirror, which looks like a magic mirror on number three. And that to me signifies self love actually, and that somebody's adult maybe working on their self love and their affirmations today and their harmonious connection with themselves. And also a snake on number nine. So somebody may be working on, you know, shady behaviour. But doesn't that look like a love heart there that it's producing? And when you said the nine, it took me to the divine feminine's energy. And you said about being mad. Well, did you find out what we had done that was wrong? Not eating. Oh, yeah, shit. Seriously? And not getting outdoors and exercising. Sorry about that. <laughs> 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 um, that's funny. Okay. Do you want to tell us about your Scottish man that comes through? Oh, every time I pick up this deck of cards as well, Lucy, it's only ever this deck of cards. It, it, and it, every time I want to say the name of them, it's that's when he's like here with me. Like, what the fuck? It's so embarrassing. It's just embarrassing for me. <laughs> that's how I felt. I felt it was embarrassing for me because you did pick up the phone and I'm like, I want my friend. To bring some, I feel nervous. I said, I don't normally feel nervous. I would have expected you to have been nervous. Yeah, it's like, who's been put on the spot? Well, it looks like it's right back at you, Lucy. Tell me what the Scottish man wants to say. Every time I pick up this deck of cards, he just wants to say, oh, what cards are they? They're the Island Time Wellness cards. What are they? Hold on, you've got to listen to this. No, it's the Welsh man. No, the Welsh man came through rather than the Scottish man. Right, okay. My hands sweat. Every time I pick up this deck of cards, they make my hands sweat. Sweat. Look, it's, honestly, it, there's something about that. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe what came out when I, when I said that. Palm tree. It makes my palms sweat, yeah? And then I get palm tree. Stability, <laughs> security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. <clears throat> But I don't know, palm. Yeah, palm. I get it. And this came out in my reading that they haven't been revealing their true self and their true feelings. They've been wearing a mask. But in my reading, all these cards decided to throw themselves everywhere as I was shuffling and only show me a few cards as they were falling. And the message was that the mask's coming off. He's coming towards this spiritual teacher because he, he needs this. It's the only place that he can get this guidance. That's that card that looks like Santa Claus. Remember before? Oh my gosh, and you said Do you remember? And you, I said at the beginning you were ringing the bell. Yes. And you did. That's exactly what you said. And we had that card before. And it's the spiritual the teacher card. Because of this. It's a big eye. It is a big eye. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? A new beginning. There's an angel here watching over like a little lad. 
Oh, is he little? No, the angel is just big, yeah? Nice. That's it? I think so. Any other, any other um, questions? I like them unicorn ones that swear. <laughs> <laughs> they are good, aren't they? They are good and sweary. Would you like a finishing sweary message? Yeah, why not? Come on then, spirit. What's the, what's, what's the, what's the sweary message for the collective today? your most fierce truth for us today. She's doing that tapping thing again. She does. Oh wait, you want to, no, hang on. We've got to get that in there. Okay, get ready. All right, I'm ready. Are you Faces ready? Fiercest truth. We're going to get a blast. Fiercest truth that we need to know today. Here we go. What the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. If you are waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. Be fucking grateful. <laughs> shit could be so much worse. Shit could be so much worse. Drop the fucking ego. Vulnerability is hot. It That's is, hot. isn't it? I think we should leave on that note. That vulnerability is hot. She's praying now. Okay. Right. Um, I'll call you a bit later on. And thank I'm you, just going to leave you now. And thank you for, um, for allowing me to just, you know, call on you on the spot. Well, thank you for having me take part in your beautiful reading. I know. That was awesome. Wasn't it? I love it. So thank you for, yeah, playing. Playing. <laughs> right, I love you loads and I'll catch up with you soon. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Look, love you lots. Love Bye, darling. Take care. Bye. Bye. Right, she's gone. <clears throat> There's a time I used to think that I was loud, but I realise I've actually met someone who's a, yeah, more vibrant, more vibrant. Or I've become a little bit more uh, mellowed, maybe. Okay, she's hilarious. Thank you, Original. So we are going to finish this reading off. Okay, 71%. How long have we been on for? That's not a bad amount. That's 48 minutes. Okay. So, I put Originals channel, um, a link to either one of her videos or the channel link. and uh, You can find her via that. And um, you can check her, her channel out more if you feel um, drawn to. We're going to the Lovers Oracle. Let's do it. I thought we was going to win with a, like a longer message. Maybe not. Okay. When all is said and done, then what? Sexual union. I knew it had something to do with that. Honour the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. So original picked up on an insecurity with uh, body issues. Okay. So... Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Should we leave it on this heart? Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Okay. Journey of love.
I'll just put my phone back on silent. <clears throat> oh, original whispers from the divine. Her message has just gone up. Thursday messages. Okay, so that's what. There you go. If you're looking, there she is. Oh. So I don't know. It seems to take her like a long time to upload her videos because she uses her phone, I believe. Okay, I find it quicker on the laptop. Anyway. Beauty. I bloody knew you were going to come out with this card. It was like, are we going to speak about beauty? We're going to beautify ourselves inside and out. Okay, agreed. Agreed. To celebrate the Divine Feminine is to honour her beauty, her endless bounty and abundant creativity. You are a vehicle of her beauty. This is radiance that has nothing to do with soul-destroying cultural stereotypes based on physical appearances. Something that you've got to get over, Divine Masculine. Okay. This is radiance that has nothing to do with soul-destroying cultural stereotypes based on physical appearances. It is the radiance that comes from feeling beautiful within, of allowing all that you are to shine through you and be witnessed in the world. You are being asked to let the inner beauty become one with your physical self. You don't have to change the way you look to become more of the divine beauty that you are. You just need to change the way you look at yourself. Behold the divine within you. You are in the process of healing past wounds about your appearance, your body and your sexuality, finding purity in all of yourself and becoming ready to share that with others in a deeper and more open way without shame or self-criticism. Take your time and fall in love with what you are. Then you can become not the victim of others' own projected shame but the love necessary for the shame of the world to heal. This oracle indicates a significant change in self-perception taking place within you, an ability to love and accept yourself more completely than you ever have before, quite simply because you have grown and there is more divinity awakened in your heart than ever before. The nature of the divine is love and you are realising that you don't have to change to be beautiful. Allow this development to grow swiftly and embrace your uniqueness, beloved. You are an exquisite flower in the heavenly garden. Right, let's end on this poem, because I felt that's really why we wanted to pull this from this deck, is for the poem. How many times I've looked in your eyes and sailed away beyond my dreams to a sheltered thought on a quiet beach where the sand is soft as flower. You may never know this place and someday when you look in my eyes I will tell you. Beautiful. Let's leave it there. Have yourself a fantastic day and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Take care. Much love. Bye for now.